All right. <clears throat> Congressman, before you go, I um, want to ask you a question on another topic and just get a sense of what's in your heart on this. Um, do you think it's time to take a look at assault weapons and discuss possibilities of changing laws pertaining to them? Well, we can discuss that, uh, but I have uh, four young children. I have a six-year-old, and that uh, is, uh, strikes in my heart what, what occurred. And, but again, what has bothered me the most as a, as a uh, representative is how this has been politicized so quickly that somehow if we had changed one single law, which as I understand that the, the state of Connecticut had laws against these kind of things, and uh, somehow that would have changed things. But what I agree on, I think everybody can agree on, we've got a cultural problem. You know, I've got an 11-year-old and, and the type of video games you just talked about. We don't let him play that. Let's let, have the moms and dads of Americans stand up and actually take control of their children and actually do the best they can. We've got a mental illness issue here. We can continue to talk about that. But Washington has to recognize that there's no simple solutions. This has been going on a, a long time in terms of but our culture. But is it time to look at assault weapons? Will that solve the problem? I don't believe so. So it's, it's not. not a gun problem. It's a people problem. It's, it's not a, it's not a gun problem. It, it, so, so tell me, what, what, why, why do Americans need assault weapons? Why do they need these high-capacity clips? Why do they need a Bushmaster? Can you tell me why? Well, you know what? There's been a lot of misleading statements, including those that are said right here and saying that somehow if we ban a gun that somehow criminals won't get no, those no, no, guns. I'm, I'm, no, I'm asking. No, what's no, it, that's, what's that's the, the reality here. It? It's not a gun problem. It's not There's a gun problem. There's a person problem. doing that. Oh, really? Yeah, well, so, yeah, so, 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 so compare the United States to other industrialized Western countries and look at the, yeah. look at well, the compare killings Washington here. D let's, let's actually look at Washington, D.C., where the ability to get a gun is extremely limited. Right, right. Does that change with, the violence? By the way, with Virginia right next door with the most permissive uh, loopholes for gun shows? Yeah. I, I'm asking, honest do you people, do, do honest you believe people I are breaking the law. Do you believe I have a constitutional right to have an assault weapon? Do you think the, that James Madison, when he drafted the, uh, the, the Bill of Rights, uh, meant for me to have the ability to have an assault weapon? Is this a constitutional issue for you? I, I think it's an issue of, of uh, the Second Amendment. It says we have the right to protect ourselves. The Supreme Court has upheld that. But gosh, let's step back. Let's not build on the tragedy in, in Connecticut and use that to actually push a political agenda. Use that? So, yeah, let's say your heads a, prevail. To, to push a political agenda? Let oh, me ask absolutely. You, what, this what, what president was your, what was your and feeling, his folks what was your are using this to push... after September 11th, Congressman? Were there some changes made in this country because of the tragedy of September 11th? Was that just using a tragedy, 3,000 deaths, to try to make Americans safer? Do you dare come on my show and say, I am using the slaughter of 20 little six and seven year old children? I'm using Joe, that how many for children political do you purposes, have? Tim? Joe, how many children do you have? I've got four children, Tim. Answer okay. my question. So do I. And I refuse to let you say that because you have children or anybody else that we need to actually politicize this. But I see folks in Washington. I don't know about what, you. What, I don't what, watch what, your show. What, 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 I see Tim, my how, colleagues Tim, in how, Washington how, trying how, to how politicize I'm this. I'm not going to let you say that I am, quote, politicizing the slaughter I said the president of, of 26 was politicizing or this. seven children. But you said anybody that's talking about this. Doesn't maybe Connecticut some, have a ban on maybe, assault weapons? Maybe some of us just believe, Tim. Maybe some of us just believe we have to do whatever we can, whether it's looking at mental health. Whether it's looking at a violent culture of video games and Hollywood movies, whether it's looking at the proliferation of these weapons, whether it's looking at what happened in Oregon, what happened in Colorado, what happened in Virginia, what happened in Connecticut, what continues happening, Congressman. So I, we can't at least talk about guns without you questioning my integrity and saying that I'm using the death of 20 children to try to make life for my children a little bit safer. We can't even talk about it without Joe, you, you coming can talk on this show Joe, and Joe, you can talk about it all you want. I didn't say it was you politicizing it. You're not even a politician anymore, and I understand that. But you look around this town. You look at within 24 hours, folks running on and say, hey, we need to change the laws when they don't even know the situation. Sir? All I'm saying is let's spend a little time looking at that, but not to use the tragedy because as a, a very famous uh, uh, political strategy, from Chicago said, don't let any crisis go unused. So, 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 so let me get this straight. So you can come on this show and say what I've said, by the way, that we've got to look at violent video games and we've got to look at a, a, a violent culture that Hollywood promotes. 
And that's not politicizing. But if we even bring up guns, that somehow that's politicizing the death of 20 children. You know, wow. What I said, what I said Joe, was I've got an 11-year-old son. Yeah. And I have a choice whether he's allowed to play those video games. What yeah. I would suggest to moms and dads across this country is look at what your children are doing. Get engaged. Let the communities get engaged. And I think that would be a solution that will help. The, the problem here. All right, and I'm, not, I'm not saying to pass a single law about that yeah. because I think that would be politicizing the issue. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Congressman. We'll be right back. Thank you.